Wow, this is pretty interesting. 25 cents each. Look at all these old eight tracks. And they have um, the recorded Memorex, like someone used them for blank tapes. That's really interesting. Pretty cool. Wow. Be a fun lot to go through. For a quarter, huh? Linda Clifford. So at 25 cents a piece, we did really well. We got a bunch of pins here. Some really cool ones, just for a quarter. Some stamped ones, how about this one? Antiques. There's another one, harp. And it's got a stamp on it and my eyesight is not that good for seeing small things like that. But I just love the variety. Here's a, a llama. Looks like a handmade pin carved into a plastic material. Hand carved from California redwood burl. That's neat. Just full of good stuff. PSU. It's a Christmas one, but boy, that is neat. A vintage Christmas pin with the bell. Love this one here. Crayola crayons. Yeah, it's made in China, but it's cute. Maybe a teacher will want that. Resistance. Lucasfilm. It's like a promotional pin. Maybe the people at the movie theater war. Here's stained glass. Stained glass pin, that's neat. Here's a wheelbarrow with daisies, my mom's favorite flower. A resin material. Pansy. And that's an Avon. And finally, speaking of daisies, a little fuzzy on the top. There's a nice little enamel pin, metal pin, daisy. Not bad, $3 worth of pins. Pretty cool. Hey, Pickers, Mighty Mike, picking weeds vintage. How are you? Hello. Anyways, it's a nice day, even though it's overcast, it's really comfortable outside. In fact, this is Thursday and we're heading into Memorial Day weekend. Welcome to this thrift haul video. We spent a total of $9.50 and shorts were half price. So I got a pair of big and tall cargo shorts, whatever you call them, UB, Union Bay. And those are big and tall, let's say big and tall brand. And if I were to buy that from the big and tall catalog, probably $40. So to get it for $2.50, I'm a happy camper. Yes! All right, so let's get into today's video. We showed you the enamel pins. The pins love the Crayola crayons. I just think some teacher is gonna love it. I know it's made in China. That's all right, not every, it's okay. Just because something's made in China doesn't mean that it's cool. It doesn't always have to be made in the USA. Of course, that is the best case scenario sometimes, right? depending on what item you're looking for. Of course, you want to find some of the old stuff made in some of our great factories from this wonderful country of ours, but they get harder and harder to find. So uh, we got some really cool pins as we showed you, and I love this antiques one. It just is cool, you know? It's got the old shoe, the lamp, the Aladdin's lamp, the clock, a fan. Some antique lover is going to enjoy that. 
and I showed you the PSU pin in the car and I love this old one here with the bell it reminds me of my mom or my grandmother but yeah just we did really well on those all right we also got this it looks like a uh, a homemade set here maybe it was a, a trinket or uh something someone bought at the store down at the seashore but um it was a dollar for the whole pack I don't know if you can see that and it's pretty much these birds glued to the top of a clamshell and there's a clamshell see that they're glued to the top and then the clamshell has a stand and there is a set of five of them and they painted the middle so that it looks like the ocean like water so it's just cool and it presents well and for a dollar some have put a lot of manpower hours into these shells these seashell the seashell collection we also got a banana one banana, two banana, three banana, four. Remember the banana split song? So this is a banana holder, I guess, if you want to take put it in your lunch. And uh, there you go. And it won't get brown or rotten. So, um, yeah, that was a quarter. All right, we got this. It is a cool piece. This is Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread, a very famous saying from the Bible. And you've seen um, the old man praying for his uh, lunch or his breakfast and he has a loaf of bread and it's give us this day our daily bread and there's one with a woman as well very famous paintings but this is that same saying and it is a ceramic dish AMS so that is the artist who made this could be a homemade piece or who knows what we'll to look up AMS so these are sealed. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's the top one. Joan Arma Trading, A&M Records. I love that it has the old, it looks like a Woolworth sticker on. Two for a dollar, still sealed. I think it's from 1976. And I looked it up on eBay and they're going for anywhere uh, $8.99 to $29.99, but ours are sealed and that makes them desirable. Now, I don't know if these are any really big names, Jimmy Ruffin maybe, uh, but still, to have them sealed, hey, I paid a quarter a piece for these, so put them out on the dollar table, I think people will be, wow, this is cool, and you get a lot of resellers, so they might buy the whole lot, so we'll see how those do. Earlier this week, we had a sale in our eBay store, and it was for a lot of vintage cigar bands. And these were cigar bands that we got. We bought a lifelong collection of these a while back. And we've done quite well with this lot. And we parceled them up into the different brands of cigars. And uh, I went to do the packing and I saw that it was going to Hollywood, California. It said studio, blah, 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 blah. And it was pretty cool. And I looked up the uh, person's name, they're a prop master. And it was from Miramax Films, I think. And they had done um, The Hunger Games and Speed and some other movies too. But I was just thinking about these eight track tapes, you know, they could also use those for a scene in a movie. Maybe they, or a TV show where they have uh, a vintage record store, or actually it wouldn't be vintage, it'd be back in the 70s. And uh, these are sealed. So you never know, you know, that's something you could list on eBay. That's my point, because you can sell to all over the world virtually. And that's what we've been doing. Remember we had that lectern that we sold to a prop master in the city of Philadelphia. And he said that was gonna be used for a television show or a movie, I can't remember. But it's pretty cool, this is our second prop that we sold. And that one went to Hollywood. Wow! And then finally, we have some coffee mugs. Okay, dun da da da. And this is a really cool one. That is a princess from one of the Disney movies. Is that Cinderella? I'm not sure. It almost looks like Belle, doesn't it? Man, it is Cinderella. And uh, there's her chariot. It's clean on the inside. <sighs> there was a little fuzz in there. Uh, Disneyland, Walt Disney World, Disney made in Japan. So to have that blue rim around it, I pay 25 cents. This will definitely do well on eBay. All right, continuing with the coffee mugs, this one 
is made in Japan and it's a design for stoneware 700 Indian summer and it's a very small mug <sighs> a little dirty and dusty inside but overall it does look clean and I just see here on this for the first time there's a little thing on the lip so we'll see if we can get that off um, but yeah we clean them up and um, it looks pretty good overall and if not we take it to the flea we put it on our dollar table all right how about this one take time to stop and smell the flowers wasn't there a Ringo Starr song stop and smell the roses he did an album in 1981 uh, this is just a great saying in life you know life is so hectic it's so busy nice and clean on the inside take some time to just uh, pause right and this is from chicken soup for the soul this was a very popular book series and to have this coffee mug I think this will do well because people read those books and they made a lot of good books from that series all right we also have this one here and this is Ken Duncan and it's the words of Jesus Christ John 15 4 through 5 and I love how it wraps all the way around the mug Olive Grove Caesarea Philippi abide in me and I in you I am the vine you are the branches by Ken Duncan <laughs> a little dusty inside but um, I think that'll clean up nicely it's signed on the bottom hour of power ministry so again nice little collectible and it has a Bible verse those do really well and finally we have sisters yes and it's the raised artwork so it comes out a little bit and it even has a little message in the in the uh, middle there in the lip the bonds we have are everlasting nice and clean inside it's heavy and it goes all the way around and says sisters when I need someone to talk to I know just who to call when I need love and support you are always there thank you sign Marcy and she's the artist and um, that's a cool bug so very heavy and I love see the sisters up there how it's raised as well with the artwork coming out and again we paid 25 cents a piece so for the whole thing we paid nine dollars and fifty cents and that included my big and tall shorts very good haul from our local thrift store that supports animals hey folks thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting these videos we really appreciate it and you can give us a follow give us a like we're on youtube we're on facebook we're on instagram we're on twitter we're on Flickr. we have an ebay store and we're also on tiktok i'm mighty mike thanks again for watching happy picking everybody